We are here with 26 TC mascot. We have Panthers on Parade coming um, May through October 2024. So as part of the project, these six foot tall fiberglass mascots are going to be embellished by local artists. They're going to be placed out at sponsor locations throughout Cedar Falls and the Cedar Valley. They just arrived in our community and we have artists coming shortly to come and pick them up. Once the artists pick them up, they'll have about nine weeks to paint them, embellish them, really do some fun creative designs, and then they'll bring them back to us. We'll have them clear coated and installed um, at sponsor locations throughout the community. The big reveal recently took place for this community project, and it is now time for these Panthers to get out into their designated locations and shine. We say collaboration in this community with our business community, with the university, with the city, that it came together really pretty quickly and, and really well. And then we have all those great creatives in the community that just really, you know, put that final brush stroke on everything and made it all happen. And it's just wonderful. So we're very excited to have our whole community turn into an art gallery through this project. So to our artists in particular, thank you for helping beautify our community through this really cool project that showcases both the city and our university. Projects like this, again, you thank the sponsors. I think if we've got 27 statues, if I remember right, at 5,000 apiece, that's over $100,000 that this community put into making these projects happen. And just personally exciting here is that's $100,000 plus going to artists in this community that a lot of times we don't have a lot of actually paid opportunities for artists to engage creatively in this area. So. The artists in this community are amazing. The, the detail you'll find on these is, is just second to none. Um, some of them have hidden little Easter eggs that you really have to look closely to find. So you, you might see a picture of them on the internet or on the printed map, but until you see them in person, you're not going to see every detail. So we really want people to go out, take their time, move around the community and see all 27. Okay, there will be a map and um, a booklet and even an app. So if you go to panthersonparade.com, you can find all of the materials you need or you can stop out at the Cedar Falls Visitor Center um, and pick up your map and get to work going to visit them all. While at the Tourism and Visitor Center, you can check out the Purple Rain TC that has over 14,000 pieces of tile on it and took over 50 hours to complete. I knew I wanted to tile it because I can tile and I thought it'd be really fun because it's outside and it would catch everyone's eye. And when I saw this kind of tile, it's this iridescent glass mosaic tile, I knew that it would be awesome outside. I started with the eyes because that has the most curves and shape to it and I wanted to make sure that this was the right tile for it because obviously with the shape of it you have to be able to adapt. So I started with the eyes and then moved on from the head down to the feet. I obviously wanted to do you and I purple. The other colors reflecting in it though just gives it some dimension. Honestly, all of them are so cool. Everybody should go see them all. I'm just excited. I'm excited to take my kids to each one and take selfies and do it all. Another TC was Ace. And this TC was done by a UNI alum and a dedicated volunteer with UNI Athletics. TC, the UNI Volleyball TC, which is absolutely awesome. This is the one that's gonna go over at High V, so I'm very excited about that. And I think that, you know, there's so many amazing artists in our area. I think the one that is special about this, it's done by Sarah Fitzgerald, who uh, actually works with our volleyball team, but she's also working at Prairie Lakes um, and obviously is an amazing artist. Um, so brings a little bit more special to me for that, for sure. You know, and when you heard about it, you kind of couldn't picture what exactly it was going to be all about. But then to be here today and when they opened it and you could see all the different TCs and just the amazing artists we have in the area, but then all the different groups that have been able to come together and that are going to benefit from this in so many different ways. It's just incredibly special. And I, I'm so excited. I was like, who thought of this to begin with? I mean, it's just a really special event involving so many people. And, you know, our student athletes were here um, to help and, and kind of welcome everyone. And uh, they were just amazed by all the different things. So just a really cool opportunity for a lot of different organizations. Panthers on Parade is definitely a tourism draw. We know alumni will come back, 
Um, we're going to let prospective students and families know, like, this is something great to do while you're visiting so you see the whole community. Um, we know people will drive in for this that have a connection to Cedar Falls, or even if not, they just love public art and love seeing that celebration and something unique to a community. So this is going to um, be a draw for a long time. Even beyond, we have an October kind of deadline, but even beyond that, we're going to keep track of where all of these Panthers are and keep sending people their way. To get all the details on this community event, check out panthersonparade.com.